Ladies and gentlemen, a 1993 Kennedy Center honoree, Arthur Mitchell. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here tonight for a very special reason, to pay tribute to an artist who's been called the pop diva. But in the world of dance, and putting it my way, Aretha Franklin, we would say you are prima ballerina, assoluta. <laughs> to listen to her sing, you see the tears when it's sad, the smiles when it's happy, and the courage to show her feelings both sacred and profane. It was another Kennedy Center honoree, Miss Lena Horne, who said, inside every woman, there's an Aretha Franklin screaming to get out. <laughs> <laughs> With natural woman and respect, Aretha was bearing witness to a woman's dignity and strength. This was a woman who could be hurt, but never ever helpless, who could know pain, but never lose her pride. She lives in one song more than most people live in a lifetime. In an age of cool, Aretha, you made cool hot. I was told once that man can make a first of the seconds, but only God can make a first of the first, and Aretha, you are number one. Hers is a voice called Down From Heaven. Soulful, jubilant, and divine. Her sound is steep in the gospel of Detroit's New Bethel Baptist Church, where her father was the preacher. At eight, she possessed a voice beyond her years. Already a church soloist, she starred in her father's nationally acclaimed revival tours. Reverend C. L. Franklin loved every kind of music and opened his home to the biggest names in black music from jazz, pop, and the blues. Aretha took it all in, but the pop world won her over. At 18, she was ready to try her wings. The know-it-alls of New York's record industry tried to rein in her voice. They bleached out what was black and unique. And Aretha was lost in a place of pretty songs. Okay. She started all over again. Let's go. Only this time, she would do it her way. laid down the tracks, not just for songs, but of a new kind of music. Like earthy and I overflowing with life. I Her songs until she had them down to the bone. You should understand. Then she imbued them with She's gospel improvisation and the slow circling like rhythm of the blues. Lord, just like a man, if you wanna do right, do right, hold her man. songs were blockbuster million sellers. Then came the prideful shout that marked a defining point of the 1960s.
catapulted her from pop singer to icon. And the song became the anthem of a generation. What set her apart and what drew us to her was the natural abandon with which she delivered her feelings. albums, 15 Grammys, this glory of American music put her indelible signature on our times. She fused gospel, soul, jazz, and rock into a new thing. We call it Aretha. favorite song for our favorite people. Hope you enjoy. I believe in you and me. I believe that we will be As far as I can see, you will always be the one for me. Oh, yes, you will. I believe in dreams again. I truly do. I know that true love will never end and like the river finds the sea I was lost now I am free we truly believe in you and me I believe in miracles And love's a miracle 
Aretha, you're a dream come true. We truly believe in you and me. I was lost. Now we're free. I believe in you. And me. Aretha's father was not just the minister of her church. He was known as the man with the million-dollar voice. Aretha's career in song began in his choir, and tonight her friends from the New Bethel Baptist Church Choir have come from Detroit to salute her and to take us back to where she began. Ladies and gentlemen, Patty LaBelle. Thank you so very much. Aretha, dear, out of all the songs you recorded, I love them all, but my favorite is Ain't No Way. <laughs> and I also want you to know I love you so much, and you are my hero. Thank you, darling. If you won't let me eat. 